will always think and watch what you say in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let what you say come in line at all times with what Christ established. That's a summary. You don't need to bother about all about the word of God. If we situate ourselves on keeping all that Christ commanded, all that even is summarized in the fulfillment of the laws and the prophets. It is a short road to arrive to the throne, but it is difficult because there are many things there that we will find it difficult to do. Though they are difficult, but it's not impossible. It is difficult to do in the instructions of Christ, of the Lord. He said, if they give you a slap on this one, turn the other one. Does that sound simple? But because he said that we should do it, he also has given us grace to make it possible to be done. He said, all things are possible to him who believe. Now, if you don't believe that because he said it, you can do it, forget about wasting your time to try to do it. You will just be doing hypocrisy to yourself. You have to, first of all, believe the conviction that whatever Christ says I should do. He said, give and it shall be given unto me. I have to believe that when I give, it's given unto me. If not, though I'm giving, it will not be given unto me. There will be no need to waste our time doing it. The fact that he said it, he said that with men. This is impossible. But not with God. With God all. How many? But then he did not only end there. He came again and said with men. All things are possible if they believe. So the, the man is still in the same class he put us. The only problem is for us to believe what he's saying. So I cannot now come and say, oh, I don't think I can do what Christ is telling me to do. If, and you see, we do these things unconsciously. Let me tell you how the angels look at when we are doing those things. You know, we know what happened to John the Baptist's father, Zachariah, right? Amen? Did we realize... Did, did any of us think that that thing that that angel did to Zechariah was approved by God? No. In short, that angel was punished. These are facts. I mean, these are spiritual truth. That particular angel was punished for making Zechariah to be dumb. So, he, he did not do but what God Ask him. He was just sent to deliver his message. Whatever Zachariah would have come with, he was not supposed to do anything different. But now, I'm trying to show you how angels look at us when we are relating with some things about Christ. They have the power when they are not comfortable on how we relate certain things about Christ. They will do those kind of things and then they go and receive punishment later. Because the reason why the Lord could not accept that is because the Lord is operating in the apex of love. So he will always pardon. And so he didn't give the angel that instruction, but the angel did it. But now look at the point. Is it the same picture? He was speaking through Moses and warning the people. He said, tell them when they go, be careful. Do not revive the gods. Including that's talking about angel. Because he said they will not forgive you. If you make a mistake, they will deal with you. So, what I'm saying here is the fact that sometimes when we are saying some things, whether we said it outwardly or we said it in our heart, contrary to what Christ says, can I do this or I don't think I can do this and Christ says you can do it. There are angels that will be so much annoyed why you are even thinking so. Because that is challenging the integrity of the king. You know what that means? Even in simple small monarch here with the small chiefs, you go and stand somewhere, some, 
around the chief, like some people where they have the, those servants there or the chief, they call them chinda or whatever, different, different kind of like, you are, you are, the king may not even have any clue of what you are doing there. You just do one small thing wrong. Those servants around there, they can just pick you off. Then I imagine the king of kings. <laughs> Hallelujah. So the bottom line for every breakthrough is to believe that everything Christ said that I should do, that we should do, to believe that I can do it. That is the beginning of the breakthrough. It is from there we will begin to now, our conversion will be in line. Then the activation of the forces to help us do it begin to be in line. And then many, many other things will begin to come by the help of God to us. Again, I said it last time and I'm saying it again. Listen, God tell man to do something. He did not expect the man to have the ability and the power to do that thing without coming to seek his help to do it. The very Everything God told us to do, it is, he's speaking from his position as God. You cannot in your position of man in the flesh have the power and ability to do it. He was never asking us to do anything. That's why he says it's not by power, it's not by might. In the, the thing he expects us to do is what we are not doing. That's why we are having all this problem. Is that whatever God tells us to do, especially those commandments of don't do this, the warning things, is to go back to him in prayer. That's why we come to the throne of grace. To ask him to give us grace to do that thing. Look at the example with Paul. God told Paul already that you have to endure this suffering. These people will persecute you. He even told, he even said it, for the work I have called him to suffer. But then Paul, like us, was asking God to take, to stop them from doing what they are doing against him. <laughs> that was part of his mission. <laughs> so Paul now went to God in prayer three times. You see? Though it sounded like he was asking him to do the wrong thing, but in the prayer, it is in the prayer altar, that's why Philippians 4, 6 says, in everything by prayer and supplication. It is in the prayer that God that revealed to him, and that revelation gave him the ability to receive that grace to endure what was going on, and now it was not a problem to Paul again. Even when they stoned him, he woke up and shook himself and went preaching the next place. Why? Because now he understood that the Lord said, you have to endure this. So he knows that if I believe it, I will endure. But then he was saying, Lord, no, this I can't. Then the Lord said, no, my grace and my strength. So what is that? The grace and the strength of God is what he has given for us to always receive to do what he asks us to do. Somebody say amen. amen. Say better amen. Now, say this as you pray. Lift up your right hand wherever you are and say loud and clear. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Eternal Supreme Jehovah. God of all manifestation. Have mercy on me. Forgive me of all my wrongdoings. Use me for your glory. Help me, Lord, to be positioned for your power in me. To activate your power for me to get the world that you have ordained for me to get in order for me to fulfill your assignment 
and accomplish the purpose you sent me into this world. Lord, I vow before you even now that as you help me to receive the wealth I will always remember you in tithes and offerings as demanded by your spirit. And I will use this world for nothing else but that which you direct me for. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Go ahead and begin to pray with your own words. When you receive those declarations, you have information of what they are. When I allow you to pray, you pray. Whatever, whichever one you are repeating for yourself, you can begin to do that. Go ahead and begin to pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, Holy Spirit. Leko paradia se papa father i position myself by your mercy oh god that you will use me for your glory help me lord to do whatever i must do to get the world you have made available for us have your way in my life help me lord to remain faithful to you in tithes and offering and even when i make mistake Forgive me and help me to continuously look out to you. Help us, O oh God, to always be at peace with you in our heart. Likara braku silian di kligaraba. Lika hambra ku silian di katabra. Ulia kambra kitilia di kasi katalia braku siliga. Lu braka silian graga di likra baradu. Ushilikra apra ku silia. Lirea katuli braka silia. Rikatalugra baraka tiligara. Likaru Brakasilia. Have your way in our life. Have your way in my life, O Lord. Help me to understand that you own me and everything that I have. Help me to release to you even that which you ask when you ask. Likaha Brakosilia. Iliandi Gali Gala Brakosilia. Rikatalia Grabaruti Kligandia. Likalambra Katilia and the Galea. Sikalabra Kosilia and the Galabra Kosilia. Pray as the Lord leads you. Rikatali Baron Tikala. Ilian de Ketilia Brakosiliba. O Korembra Katilia. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are prayed. Say loud and clear, O oh Lord God Almighty, eternal supreme Jehovah, God of all manifestations, giver of life, giver of light, Giver of blessings. Giver of wealth and peace. I decree in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Let my life in this life receive your financial divine favor now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. O oh Lord God Almighty Father, by your mercy and your love that you have forgiven me of my sins. Let my life in this life receive your financial divine favor now. So that I will be faithful to you and using the same world and resources for the purpose that you direct me. Father, I confess and I repent of all expression of unfaithfulness in tithes and in offerings from this day forward. I will remember you with my tithes and offering because you are the one that gives me power to get wealth. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Again loud and clear, O oh Lord God Almighty, eternal supreme Jehovah, God of all manifestations. Giver of life. Giver of light. Giver of blessing. Giver of wealth. And peace. I decree in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I decree in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I. Now you call your name. I. Call your name. I. Moses Ayoketa, call your name. I decree in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let my life in this life, O oh Lord, receive your financial divine favor now. Let my life in this life, O oh Lord, receive your financial divine favor now. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, go ahead and begin to decree and make that declaration. Decree. Decree, call forth God's financial divine favor. Remember, you shall have whatever you say. And the more you say it repeatedly, the more you have faith for its manifestation. The faster and stronger it manifests. Let my life in this life, O oh Lord God Almighty, receive your financial divine favor now. Let my life in this life receive your financial divine favor now. Let our life, O oh Lord God Almighty, receive your financial divine favor now. Somebody is making that declaration. Let my life in this life receive your financial divine favor now. Let my life in this life, O oh Lord God Almighty, receive your financial divine favor now. Let my life in this life receive your financial divine favor now. O Kala Parate Kataria Kapasi, Jehovah God, by your spirit of favor, let your angels move on my behalf. To influence my destiny, help us to locate me with financial breakthroughs from your manifestation of financial divine favor. 
Let my life in this life, O oh Lord God Almighty, receive your financial divine favor now. Le copra caso ring caradian catali braca sele barra ere catele crepa rota crapa caradia secle campre cotolia crapa racatilia ilian graba ruti cligara braco seceteba. Thank you, Almighty Father. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are prayed. In the name and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are prayed. If you believe God's financial divine favor is released unto you, receive it with a loud amen. If you really believe it, receive it with a louder amen. If you really receive it, believe, shout the loudest amen. A prayerful amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus the Christ. Now loud and clear, say, O oh Lord God Almighty. Let all those who finance are subjugated by darkness in all the nations of this world. Receive divine intervention from the throne of your supreme light now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, when I will leave you with this prayer point, I want you to pray it the same way, with the same energy you were praying the first one. For God's financial divine favor too. Don't say, this prayer we are praying for others is a prayer of love that activates you to receive even what you ask. But also, the prayer for let those who finance it are under subjugation, which means under satanic influence or power or control. It also includes you. So when you are praying, let those who finance it as under subjugation. Don't do it like, don't see it like you are praying for some people. First of all, any prayer you pray must begin with you. If it is a good thing you start happening with you if it's a bad thing you start happening with you when you are praying for others that's the power of the prayer of love so when i leave us with this prayer pray it with the same spiritual energy the same discharge and declaration high vocal expression as much as you have the freedom to like you were praying the first prayer for him even though i know some of you are still kind of in the kindergarten level in terms of declaring these things or decreeing but don't pray this one with a less mind that this doesn't apply to me it applies straight it's even what empowered the first one you have prayed to make many or to happen hallelujah hallelujah so when i leave you with the prayer point i want you to pray it effectively say oh lord god almighty let all those who finances and wealth are subjugated by darkness in all the nations of this world receive divine intervention from the throne of your supreme light now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let all those who finance and wealth are subjugated by darkness in all the nations of this world receive divine intervention from the throne of your supreme light now. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead and begin to pray that prayer. Let all those who finances are subjugated by darkness 
in all the nations of this world, Father, let them receive divine intervention from the throne of your supreme light now. Let them receive divine intervention from the throne of your supreme light where revelation knowledge is required for adjustment. Let there be revelation knowledge where, oh God, power is needed. Let your intervention with power bring solution. Leka abra koselia kandari abra kle karaba o shekele rian de kalabra o shekele a de kalabra ko zeketeleba ilinga da brunganda re krimbunda granda brukunde granga brukunde gramba let all those father whose finances are subjugated by darkness in all the nations of this world. Receive divine intervention from the throne of your supreme light now. Kabaro te katian de le kata. Murate kle kaparadia. Let all those who finances and wealth in any form are under satanic captivity or subjugation. Receive divine intervention from the throne of your supreme light, Lord. Kabarote kle gabra koselia handeliri galabra koselira. Thank you, Father. Shaguli barati rapra koselia. Abba, Father. Mananu katele barakate. O siya katali brako da kriaba. Rete ketele kataliba. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have prayed. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have prayed. A louder amen. A more prayerful amen. Now loud and clear and louder. Oh Lord God Almighty. Eternal Supreme Jehovah. God of all manifestations, giver of life, light, wealth, blessings, and peace, let my money, including all my finances and wealth, live above all forms of undue expenses. And above all the cycles of the powers of darkness. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. O oh Lord God Almighty. Let my money. Including my finances and wealth. Including all my finances and wealth. Let them live above all forms of undue expenses or unnecessary expenditures. Let my money and wealth live above all the cycles. Of the powers of darkness. Let them live above them now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. O oh Lord God Almighty. Let my money including all my finances and wealth, live above all forms of undue expenses or on or unnecessary expenditures and above all the cycles of the powers of darkness. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead and make that decree. Let my money now and always 
Live above all forms of undue expenses 